Welcome to this exciting program, Spotlight on Ogama TV. And my name is Precious. To bring to you today on the show, we have a very exciting personality in the building, and his name is Music Box. You already know, you already know. So, Music Box, can you tell us how your name came about? What brought about the name Music Box, first of all? Mm, I would say it um, started from my, my friends uh, way back then calling me Inibu Apati One. You know, Abatiegu, Abatiegu, and I'm like, how am I going to combine this? I can't just answer Abatiegu. It looks, I mean, kind of local somehow. So at the end, I came up with uh, Music Box. You so know. why did they call you Abatiegu, first of all? And they love my music, and they say I have it, especially my producer, but Connor always tell me that, man, he's the one always motivating me, telling me how sweet and, and my voice and all that is, you know. And each time I, I come up with a song, people like, they like it a lot, so... You know, I have it a lot in me. You know, about everyone. <laughs> so I know when we all were growing up, we wanted to be certain things. I wanted to be doctors. I wanted to be lawyers. So when did you actually decide you wanted to start music as a career? That's that's a long time ago. And back then, um, um, I I listened a lot of uh, songs R and B. Then like likes of Boys to Men, uh, Casey and JoJo. Joe, I want to know, you know, so, but then I, I used to admire those guys a lot, and meanwhile, I love music so much, so I was telling myself, I'm going to be a musician, wow. it sounded kind of funny to my parents back then, you know, they wanted me to be an engineer, I must be electrical electronics engineering, engineer, <laughs> you know, so then I, but within me, I know what I wanted to be, so even back when I was in school, I was also sneaking out to go to studios, record songs, and all that. So I, I started professionally, you know, 2006. Wow, that's long. Yeah, that's long. Yeah. Wow. We were a group then called JD Rhymes. JD Rhymes? Yeah, yeah. So where is your group right now? Mm. Parted ways and everybody gone solo wow. way back then. And okay. I communicate to one person though. What, well, that's doing music right now? Or? No, 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 not actually. I'm okay. just the only one. All right. Yeah. So your new single have been a major hit right now and it's really, really making waves in radio stations and everywhere. My God. So I've seen videos, I've seen people vibing to the song and it's truly, truly amazing, I must tell you. Yeah. What gave you the inspiration for the music and where did you do the, where did you record the music at? Um, well, first of all, uh, the inspiration came um, from my experience, my environment, what I've passed through in life what life has taught me, you know, when things were so tough, you know, I, generally I just found out that I can't do this on my own and no man can do it for me if, you know, if it's not God, yeah. you know, it was, it was a life um, lesson, you know, so that's how I came about that song, like God, you okay. know, and my studio, where I record my songs, is Ogama uh, Century Records, you Century know, Records. yeah, you know, I, I, we have a uh, collaboration, you know, we collaborate together. Most of all my songs are recorded there. They have nice sounds and good producers. Mm. Their sound card is top notch. And they, you know, it's a place one needs to visit. Wow. Yeah, really? it's a nice studio. Okay. Yeah. So most of your music have been amazing. It's been interesting, I must tell you. So I'm just curious to know, do you just wake up and just produce music? What inspires you? What inspires you to make such good sounds all the time? I like that question. I mean, first of all, music is something I love. Okay. You know, and I get inspirations around uh, uh, with things around me, like I said before. You know, so I can even, you know, see. Uh, so a movement or maybe just anything around my environment and I'll come up with something. And most times I, I have hooks through my dream. Your and dream? Uh, yeah, so hmm. I, I would say it's in me, you know. And my, like my producer always say, Mr. Connor always say, I, like I have, I am, I'm, if not 100% good in making up hooks, like choruses, you know, so. I can say basically it's around me, uh, uh, what's, it, what's it called, um, things around me okay. that gives me inspiration. Right. You know? Wow. So how will you describe your sound? How will you describe your music? Well, I call it urban gospel. Urban gospel. In the sense that um, I, 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 make, I make use of secular sound, 
with the gospel lyrics. Mm. You know, so um, he wouldn't really say this is secular, this is gospel. So I had to call it urban gospel music. Mm. Yeah. That's an interesting sound. So every career, everybody have a challenge, different challenges that they face in their own industry or in their own parts that sometimes can actually bring them down. So what have been the challenges that you've encountered during this your journey of making music and how have you, how have you dealt with most of them? Um, challenges is a normal thing in life, yeah. a natural thing in life, you know, but I, I would say I enjoyed it because it taught me lessons, you know. Back then, how to get a studio to work with and how to get a producer, get producer paid and all that was experience, you know. And, um, uh, sponsors and all that, you know. Then making a good music is number one. Number two, how do you go, how are you gonna get it out there so people can hear the song and listen to it? If you don't have a sponsor and you don't have money to go about it, like doing the pro promotions and all that, mm -hmm. was a challenging to me back then. Mm -hmm. But um, as time goes on with experience, you know, we now find out the way to do it. Especially now, I'm working with uh, Century Records. You know, they're helping me a lot work together as well. So I could say that was then, not now. Mm -hmm. So now we're ready to do music. Okay. So the, as far as I know, the music industry exposes people to a lot of, it can be bad influence and good influence, like how I want to call it. So what have been the major opportunities that the music industry have given to you? Um, opportunity it, uh, it, uh, for music, I have been able to meet a lot of big dignitaries and uh, good exposure, you know, and meet, meeting good people and, you know, with even other businesses that has helped me was true music, okay. you know, so I would say it's, it's a positive thing for me. Right. Yeah. So you said that your parents were into support of you doing music in the first place? <laughs> Actually, it was my mother and my siblings. They were not in support of you doing music. Yeah, but you know, back then, they see musicians as, as people who are wayward, you know, who does not want to, you know, be, be useful to themselves back then. You know, but not like now, that musicians, everybody wants their child to be mm -hmm. risky. Because of the money. They do and all that, so that's it. My, 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 my late father was uh, very much supportive back then, you know. He was the one that always told me that I can do it. So let's assume that you didn't do music. What would you have done? I would say I would be a footballer or footballer. real estate. You know, so you play football estate. well? Yeah, I can play. Like what club do you support? Okay, now. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't really have a specific club. Like, I like everyone. Like, I like um, Chelsea and Manchester and all that. Like, who do you look up to in the music industry that you would love to work with in the nearest future? In diaspora, like outside the country, I, I would say Drake. Drake. I love, I love, I love his sound a lot, you know. And I don't, I wouldn't say any particular person here in Nigeria because all of them are doing good. Likes so of Whiskey, Bonner Boy, David Doe, Flavor. Mm. I have opportunity. I work with them. You know, that's it. Mm. So, after this, your new single, which is making waves right now, do you have any projects you're working on right now, or do you have? plans of working on any project in that back to back. We are hitting it back to back. Century Records, Lokone, the producer, we are out for business. Like, mm -hmm. I will have a couple of songs line up, you know, after this Nago. So, my fans should expect more beautiful tune coming. Yeah. Alright, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. And thank you for your music. I appreciate it. Our website it. at www.okamatv.com So, till next time, Thank you.